Hello everybody! Welcome to another video about the Coolmedia Headless capabilities. In this video, I would like to show you how a client, like a progressive web app, can render rich text and images provided by Coolmedia. What you see here is a progressive web app based on React, showing a blog post that is provided by Coolmedia through its GraphQL interface. Let me show you how this client fetches all the data it needs to render this article. Specifically, we will need the title, the picture on top here, and the text below. Let's switch to Insomnia. You can see that I have prepared a simple query that fetches the article we have just seen, but it does not ask for any data yet. We want to do just that now. Let's start with the title, which coincidentally we can find under the property title. Next, let's ask for the text, which we could find under the property detail text. As you can see, this renders the text already as formatted HTML, which is ready to display by web clients. However, some clients might not be web-based, like native apps, and would like to retrieve the text in a more generic format, from which they can then create the formatting themselves. For this, we can also ask for the text in a pure JSON format, using the detail text as tree property. As you can see, this displays the text as a JSON structure, with each piece of formatting represented by its own nested JSON object. As a matter of fact, the React app you have seen earlier actually uses the text as tree property, as it offers much more flexibility in terms of rendering. For example, you can see that each paragraph has its own section in the JSON response. Finally, we need the picture. For that, we ask for the picture property. In the picture, we are most interested in the URI, so let's start typing URI. Due to the extensive image transformation capabilities of Comedia, which I'm sure you've seen before, we can only find a URI template property, from which a client can dynamically build the actual URIs. Let's examine the template. As you can see, there are two placeholders in the template, crop name and width. Comedia can crop images to any desired format. The exact crops are defined in Comedia Studio. All we need to do here in GraphQL is ask for the available crops. Now, all we need to do is replace the crop name placeholder in the URI template with one of these values. In our case, we want to use landscape ratio 16 by 9. Finally, we need to decide which size we want to use. For that, let's ask Comedia which sizes are available by adapting the GraphQL query again. As you can see, we have three sizes available for our 16x9 crop. Let's say we render the article for a mobile, then a width of 400 will totally suffice. Let's try this out. We need to create a new request to the same host and add the UI template as the request path. I have already prepared that here. Now we copy the crop name, landscape ratio 16 by 9, and replace the placeholder in the path of our new request with it. Finally, we replace the width placeholder with the value we want, 400. And as you can see, Comedia returns the image as requested in the 16x9 crop with a width of 400. If we want a bigger image, we simply change the width to the higher value, for example, 944. And that is all. We have all the information we need to render the article in our headless application. See you in the next video.